Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this Mass in memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, our Mother and our Queen. And we pray that through Mary, we may always be led closer to Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Let us now be sorry for our many sins and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, foremost among the poor and humble, to be the mother of the Savior, grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith, and place in you all our hope of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The following message came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Stand at the gate of the house of the Lord, and there proclaim this message. Hear the word of the Lord, all you of Judah, 
who enter these gates to worship the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Reform your ways and your deeds, so that I may remain with you in this place. Put not your trust in the deceitful words. This is the temple of the Lord. The temple of the Lord. The temple of the Lord. Only if you thoroughly reform your ways and your deeds, if each of you deals justly with his neighbor, if you no longer oppress the resident alien, the orphan, and the widow, if you no longer shed innocent blood in this place or follow strange gods to your own harm, will I remain with you in this place? in the land I gave your fathers long ago and forever. But here you are, putting your trust in deceitful words to your own loss. Are you to steal and murder, commit adultery and perjury, burn incense to Baal, go after strange gods that you know not, and yet come to stand before me in this house which bears my name and say, we are safe, we can commit all these abominations again? Has this house which bears my name become in your eyes a den of thieves? I too see what is being done, says the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, mighty God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the, shallow, and, the shop, and the swallow a nest, in which she puts her young, your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Blessed they who dwell in your house, continually they praise you. Blessed the men whose strength you are. They go from strength to strength. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. I had rather one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I had rather lie at the threshold of the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord mighty God. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord.
Jesus proposed a parable to the crowds. The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everyone was asleep, his enemy came and sowed weeds all through the wheat and then went off. When the crop grew and bore fruit, the weeds appeared as well. The slaves of the householder came to him and said, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where have the weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. His slaves said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No. If you pull up the weeds, you might uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at harvest time, I will say to the harvesters, First, collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, when we hear the parable about the weeds and the wheat that we heard Jesus narrate in our Gospel today, we usually think of it to mean that in the world there are good people represented by the wheat and there are bad people represented by the weeds. The danger is we might be judgmental to determine whether this person is a wheat or a weed, this person is good or bad. But the parable of Jesus could also tell us that in our lives, in our hearts, there could exist both wheat and weeds. Kahit sa ating puso, nananahan pareho ang kasamaan at ang kabutihan. God created us good. We are good. But many times, we allow weed, weeds to be sown into our hearts. We allow the weeds of evil and sin to exist in our lives. In our first reading today, the Lord through the prophet Jeremiah tells his people, Do good. Do away with evil. Do not oppress. Do not kill the innocent. Do, do not abuse those who are in need. Always do what is just before God. By saying these things, God is telling His people, do not allow weeds to grow in your hearts, but instead nurture the wheat. Huwag hahayaan na ang kasamaan ang siyang lumago sa ating buhay, kundi ang alagaan at palaguin ay ang kabutihan. My dear brothers and sisters, what do you nurture in your hearts? Ano ba yung inaalagaan natin sa ating buhay? Yun bang trigo ng kabutihan, kagandahan ng loob, katuwiran, 
katotohanan at kabanalan o mas inaalagaan natin yung damo ng kasamaan ng pagiging makasarili ng kasinungalingan ng kasalanan What do you allow to be sown in your hearts? Ano yung hinahayaan nating maitanim sa ating puso? Mga butil ba ng trigo ng kabutihan o mga butil ng damo ng kasamaan? Many times we expose ourselves to seeds of evil. We expose ourselves to things that we know will lead us to evil. Kapag dinadala natin yung ating sarili o hinahayaan natin yung ating sarili na madala ng kasamaan, ng hindi mabuti at hindi matuwid, parang mas pinalalago natin sa ating buhay ang mga damo ng kasalanan at kasamaan. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, if in our hearts there could exist both wheat and weeds, then be careful in what you allow to grow. Ingatan natin kung ano ang hahayaan natin mas lumago sa ating puso at sa ating buhay. Because at the end of the parable of Jesus, He gives a warning. There will be a harvest time. There will be judgment. And when judgment comes, God will look at each one of us. He will check if there are many wheat then He will gather us into His kingdom. But if there are many weeds, then He will set us aside for burning. Please stand. As a frail and weak people, we bring our petitions before our Heavenly Father, who in His mercy and love wants us to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church leaders may always work for the good of souls, especially of the poor and the less privileged. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those entrusted with the delivery of justice may be fair in their judgments. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That as a community, we may recognize the goodness in each other instead of condemning one another for each other's shortcomings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and those who suffer may be consoled by the truth of God's love for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may enjoy the harvests of the everlasting life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our personal petitions. We pray also for the people who are in need of our prayers. And we pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, may the power of your love always sustain us. Help us not to get distracted by the cares of the world and not to be overcome by evil in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
understand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to the ends of the earth, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty, and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
प्लीज स्टैंड Let us pray. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace, which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, en already enjoys eternally in glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We thank you for coming this morning for this Mass here at the Manila Cathedral. We especially thank the pilgrims from the Diocesan Shrine of St. Joseph in Quezon City for being with us this morning. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son. And the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria, inalang awa, 